Hello, my name is Mrs. Cogswell, and I will be your child's AP Calculus AB teacher this year. Um, I started teaching for Carmel Clay Schools in 2007, and I taught at Creekside for three years and then made the transition over to the high school, and I've been here ever since. I also teach our Introduction to Linear Algebra and Multivariable Calculus course, so I feel very lucky to get to teach calculus all day. Um, and I'm not being sarcastic. I really do love calculus. So AP Calculus AB is what they're going to be taking. That is first semester calculus, and we will use the AP curriculum. We'll make sure that they're prepared. My goal is when they go in to take that AP exam, it feels like a normal assessment, and I want them to have that kind of bring it attitude, like I'm going to go, out and go in there and show off my skills. <clears throat> and we have AP Classroom as a tool to help them prepare for the AP exam. And then we have WebAssign, that's access to their online textbook. Now the pacing of the course, what we'll try to do is we'll try to do chapters one through three, first semester, and then second semester we'll do chapter four, and then we'll hit a couple sections from chapters five, six, and seven. And our goal is to be done by spring break with all of the new content. And then after spring break, we go back and we try to basically relearn and there's a lot of aha moments after spring break and they find students finally start to see the connections as we're preparing for that AP exam that's when students really start to get a good grasp on the concept so it's really fun to watch um, expectations in here um, I have told them many times in class it is so important that they do their homework they learn calculus by doing the homework so and I warn them all the time that when they're sitting in class listening to me teach, I'll make it sound like it's super easy until they go home and try it on their own. So homework is a huge part of this course and it takes a lot of motivation. And, and a lot of your students have reached that level of maturity where they are doing their homework and they understand the importance of homework. But I will be keeping a close eye because I will know usually if they're not doing well in the assessments, usually that is why and it's an easy fix. Well, now it's time to start doing your homework. So we're going to use Canvas in here, and students will have to submit things on Canvas. So let me show you Canvas. <clears throat> so this is my Canvas course, and on the home page are the assessments that are coming up and any deadlines. And I've also posted this stuff in the calendar as well. And if you click on the module, that will take you to our current module. And within that module, this is where they'll click to see what they missed. This is what we do each day. It has the daily agenda in it. And so if your child is sick or, um, or needs to know what the homework is, that is where they'll find it in the syllabus. And then on the chapter one page, <clears throat> excuse me, this has our uh, completed worksheets, completed notes, homework, homework solutions, and then the check your understandings. <clears throat> Those are used for after they've heard the lesson and practiced in class, they've done the homework assignment, checked to make sure that they're getting the correct answers. Once they're feeling confident, then they do the check your understanding. It's four problems on Canvas and they get two attempts and ideally, I would love for them to have done at least one attempt before they come into class so they can ask questions and we can have a good discussion in class. These aren't meant to be mean. They're meant to help the students really see, okay, do I understand what I'm doing? And then, let's see here. Okay, I think that's all with Canvas. I also have a YouTube channel. And... This is when COVID hit. I made a YouTube video for each lesson. So if they ever miss class, they can watch me talk through the completed notes. Okay. And those check your understandings are due before the test. So they've got time. And some students do wait and do them before the test. I highly suggest not doing that. I'd rather them do it throughout the sections. But if that's a strategy they want to use, that is perfectly fine. Okay. <clears throat> Um, and I talked about the YouTube channel and then graphing calculators you 
any of these graphing calculators are perfectly fine. The CAS calculator, calculators excuse me, are a little bit fancier, but they do not need the fancy calculator. Um, we will use the TI Inspires in class for demonstrations, but if your child has an 84, that is perfectly fine. I have some students who have their parents 84s from 20 years ago, and that will work too. So I will help them get used to that calculator, but these are very important. On the AP exam, it's a no calculator or graphing calculator part, so they need to be very comfortable, and we'll work on that in class. So how we grade this course, 5% is practice. That's where those check your understandings go into or any in-class assignments. Quizzes are 15% and tests are 80%. Well, the final exams will carry the same weight as a test. And first semester will have four tests and then second semester will have three tests and a project after the AP exam. If your student scores below an 80% on a quiz, they can retake it to earn up to an 80. And then if your student scores below a 75% on a test, they can come in and retake that to earn up to a 75. So I will have them come in to earn during SRT and we'll go over the assessment together before they retake it and help them understand what they're missing. Sometimes this course can get going pretty fast and if students get behind, it can get very overwhelming very quickly. So Every once in a while, your student might need to take advantage of those retakes, and that's that's normal. That's okay. Now, if it's happening every single assessment, I will definitely have them come in. We need to reassess how they're doing their homework, what's, what's going on. And then communication is so important. If you see your student struggling, please let me know. If something happens at home that is affecting them at school, please let me know. Um, I will keep a very close eye on your child, and if I see something I'm concerned about, I will not hesitate to tell you. But if, again, please, please, please never hesitate. And if you see them stressing about calculus at home, again, please let me know. I, I, I would really love to help your child. And I tell the students I am the first person they should come to when they need help in math. And for some reason, teachers get put at the bottom of the list. I should be at the top, and I tell them that all the time. But there's my email and then my phone number. Please never hesitate to contact me. And thanks.